Welcome back. We now continue our discussion with two incredible gents, the team from the Second Chance Trust. And we've got founder Jared Williams and program facilitator Blake Williams. Yeah, we'll be uh, taking us through a, a bit more about some incredibly powerful videos that they have released tackling some of the most common social issues um, and their programs offered at the Trust. And I think these touch on a number of people. Sorry, Jared Smith, I think. That's you, all I'm, good. I'll turn you guys. You're <laughs> brothers. That's you're brothers. Yeah, we're brothers. No, definitely. No, you're brothers in. You know, when you hang that. around people long enough, you look like them. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And you, you start to move like them. Yeah. One thing I loved, and you, you alluded to it being 2020, having to go remote, having to use all of these tools that are there, yes. and probably most young people are already probably more adept at using yeah. them than most of us that are sitting on this side of the digital True. divide, but you use videography and videos yeah. incredibly well. Talk me through some of the topics that you have honed in on with the videos that you've been releasing. I think the two that we're probably speaking about today is uh, absent fathers and gender-based violence and how they're linked. The father's not around, so he turns to gender-based violence, drugs, and it's just a ripple effect. And the other one is about choices, substance abuse, and how our undealt trauma can lead to us making unhealthy decisions, which impacts our futures. Mm. How do you guys tackle these? Because it's got to be authentic, yeah. and you can't preach. You, you've got to come, and we all have some kind of, like, I, I didn't know my father. Yeah. Um, so there's so many kind of entry points there, and I'm discovering this more and more. Most guys have a similar pathology, we can all connect on some level. Yes. How do you broach these subject matters? Where do you take yourself when you, when you go to kind of deal with really, really tough topics? Well, I think in the line of work that we do, we're faced with many of these problems, we're faced with many of these scenarios or circumstances, as they call it. And what we try to do is we try to tackle it in very realistic ways throughout yeah. the storyboard of the video yeah. that we're portraying. Because if one circumstance or one scenario doesn't apply to you, there is something yeah. else that you may yeah. have experienced. And like Jared said, it's just a domino effect. You know, if you grow up without a role model or a father figure or a positive person in your life yes. to tell you where you're going, off track or to guide you along the way that you should be treating people or should be treating women and children then how are you supposed to know and and we hold it against men but we need to be educating people we need to be helping we need to look at the problem that's there yeah, i think we assume people know yeah. yeah we assume that people should know these things yeah. but if you grow up in a home where your father hits your mother and he drinks and he's absent how, how would you know mm. yeah so that's we need to educate we need to empower we need to equip people to live a healthy life so mm. we can see a change in our country and the world mm. We need solutions now. Yeah. It's, it's gone beyond preaching to the choir 100%. in terms of gender-based violence, especially. Yeah. We're all sitting here thinking, like, how do we do this? Yeah. How do we cut through all of the nonsense and get to the heart of this so that we can actually start to change young men's yeah. behavior? And it's, yeah. it, you, you've got to go back through probably generations mm. yeah. of cycles that are repeating. What do you hope that these videos achieve? Well, we just hope that these videos impact people, specifically where they're at, because as Blake says, everyone's in a different space. So we, we, we really pray and hope that it impacts people where they are and it empowers them and educates them. It's almost like a light bulb moment. They realize, hey, the way I'm living is not good for me. It's mm. not healthy for me. It's affecting the people around me. I need to make different choices. Mm. That's, that's what we're big about. Make different choices so that you can become the greatest version of yourself. Mm. Maybe just getting a person to a point where they understand that it is a choice. That's it. Simple but so powerful. Mm. This all stems from programs that you have been delving very deeply into with Second Chance yes. Trust. Can you talk me through some of the programs that you guys run? So we have three key programs. Blake's program, which is called The World Is Your Stage. It's using hip hop to mentor other kids. So uh, dance gives you a chance to express your emotions, mm -hmm. but Blake talks about discipline, structure, decisions, choices, working towards goals, so that's important. Then we have our equine assisted therapy program where we take gangsters, prostitutes, people struggling with anxiety, and we put them through an eight drug addicts through an eight-week program. And then we have our BLC program, which is our school program, where we deal with resilience, decision making, substance abuse, bullying, all those social issues. We tackle them at the root and we equip people and empower people to move forward. Mm -hmm. Absolutely love what you guys are doing, how far you've been able to take this. I'm beginning to understand why the likes of Asir Khaleesi and Blake Williams are getting behind what you're doing. Mm. And I think for all young men out there, this is something, and not just for, you know, obviously for young women, being able to benefit from this, but I, just from a guy's perspective, yeah. how yeah. important this conversation is. So thank you mm. so much awesome. to both of you for, for being here and for doing exactly what you're doing.
Time now for me to improve my skill set just a little bit. We can't have an artist like Chaz in studio without giving us just a few pointers on how you can start to create something beautiful in your own life. Maybe um, turning to fine arts could be yeah. the answer for you. But a massive thank you to the Second Chance Trust team, Jared Smith, Blake Williams, and of course Chaz for joining us this morning. Um, and you can head to www.second. Uh, hyphen chance.co.za that's second hyphen chance.co.za for more information on the trust for a chance to win of course this amazing springbok painting by Chaz himself and he's going to be giving me a few tips so don't stray too far <laughs>